Good morning, YouTube. It is, um, I was about to say February. <gasps> no, 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 no. It is July, uh, Monday, July 25th. First day back at work after a week, and oh, so hard. So hard. But Maine was uh, fabulous. Uh, it was very nice, um, and I have some, um, uh, I'm still on vacation. I have some clips that I will be putting up soon from Maine, um, so you guys will get to see that. And yeah, pretty much was in Maine for half the week, and then came back and was basically at the pool and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, first day back at work, so I don't think I'll be getting much done today. Anyway, um, in other news, nothing really going on. I did return the necklace from Macy's. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. I wanted the links to be a little bigger, and, you know, I don't need it. I have so much stuff. I need to stop shopping. Um, so, I just returned it. Um, and we'll see if I ever find what I'm looking for, then I'll get it. I want the exact thing. And unfortunately, the, um, Alex's chain was exactly what I wanted. I just wish she did it in solid gold. I would totally buy it. Anyway, that is that. So that is returned. My bank account is a little happy, although I am now eyeing the Apple Watch. I may go and try out, try it on and see what it's all about. I do have a Samsung phone, though, so it may not make sense to get the watch until I go back to the iPhone. Sorry, Samsung. I'm not really digging you. Um, so that's that. And yeah, that's all that's going on, folks. Um, today it's kind of raining, it's kind of not, so I just brought my, uh, Ray-Ban Wayfarers, just in case the sun does decide to stay out. Um, got my little moon necklace. Um, ooh, I'm getting a, sorry, just got a, um, text message and it came across the screen. Um, and then, uh, star earrings, these are both from Catbird NYC and nothing in the first hole, and just the regular, um, the newer piercings. Wearing a Chanel necklace today, um, and just my Mykonos ring, Bali name cuff, and my Pandora bracelet. Wearing my um, tote bag, coach tote bag, because it is off and on raining. Uh, so I just grabbed this, and I had worn this on vacation, and I just didn't change it out, if that's actually. That is the actual truth. I didn't have time to change it out this morning with my alphabet um, initial puff. The dress, I cannot remember who it is by. I will leave that below, but I bought it, I think, two years ago. It was on sale um, on guilt.com. It's just like a, a halfway uh, buttoned up uh, um, shirt dress uh, with a collar. And I like it. Super cute. Um, and I like the green. I just like the the pattern um yeah that is that today and just my um report shoes with the uh the gold hardware yep. so that is all for the day ladies and gents um i did uh, have a package waiting for me but it's just a little earring i actually wanted the bva i believe it's that's who it's called uh that's the brand bva does all these beautiful studs I think they're based out of California, and they are a little pricey. So I have seen this. Um, I actually ordered this from Etsy. Um, just came in this little thing. I think this came from. Hold on. Uh, España. So this is from Spain. Uh, handmade, of course. I think I don't think it's it's not real gold. It's 14 karat gold plated. Oh, there's two of them. I thought there was only one. Hmm. Okay, I think they were about, um, sorry, another notification coming up on the phone. Uh, I thought it was one stud, but that's kind of cute. Let's put this here. They're like little, um, what do you call them? Little dagger studs. If I can get it open to get one out. I thought I was buying, uh, just one. There are a pair in here. Sometimes some of these studs come single. No, I told him I just wanted one. No, I did tell him I wanted one, 
and I paid for one, and he sent me two. Whoops. Um, so there's this little dagger stud. It's really cute. Really pretty. Um, and I paid, I think they were like 30 bucks for one. But he sent me two of them. So, happy mistake on my part. So it'll be cute if ever these piercings heal to go up there or, you know, to hang down. I just thought they were cute. Oh, could put it in my ear one now. But I won't bore you guys. Anyway, I gotta clean them. So, super cute. Um, and kind of glad I got two now. In case I lose one. Because I just lost. Actually, this one, this hole is empty because I lost. I mean, it's somewhere in my apartment, but I might have vacuumed it up already. Um, it was so tiny. It's a tinier, a tinier star. And it must have fell out while I was sleeping. So, boo. I do have a, the other one. And those are gold. So, that that's a little sad. But if I really... Um, I could actually look for them. And they could be wrapped up somewhere in my sheets. But that's it. That's the little, cute little dagger studs I got from Spain. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good morning, YouTube. Uh, it is Tuesday, June 26th. I believe that's right. It is not June 26th. It is July 26th. I believe that is right. You know, guys, uh, I swear my brain is degenerating. So last night I'm laying in bed and I'm wondering why the hell am I still so hungry, right? You know, I go over the evenings, um, things that I had to do. I came home early, played with the kids, me and the husband before he went to work. I prepared tonight's meals somewhat uh, for my mom because tonight, today I'm going to get my hair, going to the salon. Um, I cleaned a little, I had a glass of wine, watched a little news, wonder why I watched the news, because there's all sorts of fools out there in the world today. Uh, watched a little bit of the Democratic Convention, uh, got the kids ready for bed, yada, 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 all that good stuff. So I'm laying in bed, I'm like, why am I so hungry? And then it dawns on me, because I didn't eat dinner. That's why I'm hungry. I'm slowly losing my mind, slowly, starving, and I'm like... I'm hungry because I didn't eat anything. And my friend is like, she's pregnant. She has one and she's pregnant again. And she's like, you know, that's what two kids will do to you. And this is on Facebook. So I wrote back, just you wait, you know, <laughs> Kathleen and her last name, just you wait. And now uh, she's an English major. We both love um, English literature. And that is a line from My Fair Lady, which she should understand. Anyway, I tell you, the brain is going um, slowly but surely and Anyone who is a mother of multiples, uh, whether they be old or young, please let me know that this is just a passing stage, that my brain function will return to normal soon. <laughs> my husband's going on like he wants a third. I almost punched him in the face. Anyway, it is July. I wish it still was June, though, because it means it's only one more month of summer left. <sighs> and then it's back to freezing my butt off. So, let's get into the outfit. Wearing a nice summery little dress from Casting. I had bought this from a, um, a little boutique um, along 7th Avenue when I used to take the train. It's not there anymore. I had bought this for uh, the same friend's wedding who's now having a baby, but I had changed my mind and kept the dress. Um, but first, jewelry, same um, half, half moon stud from Catbird, and I'm wearing the, um, the stud, uh, the sword, the dagger stud. I love it. I really love it. Although, the back of it, the post is so thick that it, I wanted it for this piercing, and even this one, but uh, it would not go in here, and, and this is, this is fairly new, actually. This is about a year and a half old, so I was like, let me not force it in there and just wait, but I think it's cute on this, um, this ear. I think it's cute anyway. I'll leave um, the link to the Etsy shop below where I got that. And then just a little diamond stud. Uh, double name necklace, ring, this large cocktail ring from Peace Treaty, and my YSL Artie ring. Uh, oh, and my shades are my Karen Walker shades. Yes, I figured a little pattern play. Well, there's a pair. I, when I bought these, I bought these off guilt.com, and I, um, 
I thought they were bigger. There's a pair that are a little bigger, but whatever. I guess they're big enough, right? Honey, how big do you want your shades, Amy? Really? I have a tiny face to begin with. Um, the last thing is a cute little empire waist dress. Really flouncy, really beachy. I had bought it for my friends. She was having a beach wedding, but then I found something else, um, and I just decided to keep this. Love the orange or the coral. I think it's great with my darker skin in the summertime. Um, it just has little bows all around. It's like a, you know, it's very cute. It's very playful with my uh, Messica... Um, gold sandals. So, and this uh, same coach bag. I, um, and these are the shoes. You know, I, uh, of course, walked into the bus this morning. I'm thinking of a million other bags that I could have used instead of this coach bag, but I don't, I rarely get, my, put my outfits out at night. Heck, I don't even eat dinner sometimes. <laughs> So, rushing in the mornings, um, sometimes I just keep the same bag I have, which is bad, but, you know, well, in a way it's good, because it prolongs the life of my, uh, my handbags, I guess, because I don't wear them. But I would have loved to have worn my Sophie Hume with this, because of the gold accents and the black, I thought it would have looked nice, but I was also wanting to wear my Chanel bag this week, but we'll see. And a quick hello and thank you so much for your sweet comment to Sam A. Um, for some reason, she's left me a couple of comments and she's subscribed. She's from Scotland, which is on my wish list. Um, for some reason, I cannot reply to her. It keeps giving me an error message and this old bat can't figure out how to um, uh, like private message someone. I know someone has private messaged me, but the only reason why I was able to private message her because is because I hit reply. So I can't figure out how to private message her at least to say thank you for her sweet words and her support. So if she's watching, I hope she's watching. Thank you very much, Sam A, for subscribing and um, supporting my little channel. And for your lovely comment um, about my room and my decor. I haven't thought of doing a room tour or an apartment tour. I don't really think my apartment is anything to shout about. I was going to move, but I think I'm going to stay there where I am until the kids are at least five um, and then find the real place that I want, because I hate moving. I just moved there two years ago, and I just, I cannot be bothered moving. But I will, uh, see what I can do with, um, at least the room tour. I like my room, kinda. I think it's cute for what it is. Um, so thank you again for your comment. Very sweet. And, uh, hopefully, I don't know why I can't reply to you. It just gives me a failed or error, doesn't, or it just doesn't, um, you know, it just won't post the comment. So thank you again. Uh, I really appreciate all of you guys' support on my little channel. And it's fun. It's a hobby for me. It's something different other than diapers and bottles and sippy cups and things like that. <laughs> so anyway, I have rambled on enough. Oh, and I found something. Um, tomorrow I'll show you guys the perfect sunscreen for my face. I know I had told you that for years now, I have some weird allergy to a combination of sand, salt water, and the sun, and my face would like just get really weird, and my lips would blow up and red, and my face, oh, it would just, it's just weird. It's not even a breakout, it's just, I don't know what it was. But I found a sunscreen for my face, and all through Maine, not a twinge. I am so happy. You don't know how stoked I am because I love the beach. Anyway, I will bring it tomorrow because I forgot to bring it today. I will bring it tomorrow and let you guys uh, show you guys what I'm talking about because I know one person had said that their mother has kind of the same problem I do. So if I can pass on this little uh, gem that I found and if it could work for your mom or you or whoever, you know, then my living will not be in vain. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Take care. Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> it is Wednesday, July 27th. Oh, half of the week is almost done. Can't wait for the weekend. Um, nothing really planned. Just uh, want to hang out and chill. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to bring you guys the... Um, the suntan lotion for my face, it's from Alba, A-L-B-A, I think it's vegan, 
um, no fragrance. It really doesn't have a fragrance. It feels more like a lotion than anything. Um, I will try and remember to bring it tomorrow, but if it's the winter time, I will bring it and show you guys. Uh, and I picked it up at Ulta. Perfect, perfect item for my face and for my issue with the sun. Um, yeah, so, uh, nothing else really going on. I got the hair did last night. Um, so my hair in the summertime, if I leave it out and walk, come to work, I mean, I, I have like a big frizz poof. So I usually leave the front in pin curls and throw a hat on. And then when I get to work, I'll take it out, which I just did. So you've got this straight part here because it's dropped and this kind of wavy part up there. So I'm waiting for this to drop so it can, you know, mesh with the rest of my hair. Anyway, whatever. Um, feels good to actually wear it out. I'm wearing it back too much and I don't want it to start snapping. Anyway, that's that. We'll get into the outfit, jewelry, same double name necklace, uh, earrings. I am wearing the same earrings actually I wore yesterday. I'm loving my, I just love the way it looks, my stud, my uh, dagger stud. Um, this is a YSL. I don't know if this was an Artie ring. I know it came out at the same time as the Artie rings, um, but it's just a big, um, it's a YSL silver with a huge amethyst um, raw natural stone. Um, and that is it for uh, the bag. I got my coach, T Rose Dinky. I was feeling all blue today. Oh, and the shades, of course, are my Celine's. Feeling nice and all one color today. So I've got to leave the color, the name of this dress down below. Um, and I got it on sale at Lord and Taylor a couple of years ago. I was just walking through the store and it caught my eye. It was the first one on those clearance racks because usually I, I don't have the patience to go through clearance racks. But it was on super clearance. I'll leave the um, the name of it the name of it down below. I can't really remember. And then I just put um, an H and M white tank under it because really, how low is this? So it's just a striped top. Um, it's like a tank top dress. Striped top, gingham print uh, bottom with pockets. And I'm, I threw the cardigan on because I'm at work, of course. Um, and then this is my um, Mark by Mark Jacobs belt. The shoes. I'm wearing my C by Chloe um, blue sandals. I have these also in black with the silver hardware at the toe. I love these. They are slightly too small, but they were the last size, and I love them, so I grabbed them. So yeah, that is the outfit um, for today. Nothing else really going on, so I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Good morning, YouTube. It is Thursday, July 28th. Um, supposed to be another scorcher. I love these hot days. Um, so, happy about that. Uh, although I haven't been able to go to the park at lunchtime these past couple of days because I'm running errands. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but how much makeup do you actually wear in the summertime? Um, like, I like I'm excited. I'm in New York. And it's supposed to be in the 90s, humid, whatever. And I, I sweat. I don't know about everyone else, but my face just melts off. I forget I have my eyebrows on and I'm like, oh, and my eyebrow ends up here. You know, all smudged all over the place. So in the summertime, I've started doing, um, last summer even, when I start getting really, when I get darker, um, I don't wear foundation. Um, and I'm kind of liking it because I don't have to worry about stuff getting on my clothes and sweating. When I sweat, I'm like, oh, I can actually wipe my face because I have no foundation on. So what I usually just do is um, a little bit of concealer under the eyes because the darker I get, I kind of blend into my dark circles. <laughs> um, so a little concealer under the eyes. I do fill in my eyebrows a little bit. Of course, my eye makeup because I love eye makeup, which you never see here. It never shows up on camera. I don't know if it's my lighting or what, but... Whatever. Um, a little bit of my um, bronzer, which I kind of use as a setting powder, really, around um, 
the perimeter of my face. I mean, it does darken it a little bit, but whatever. Um, some blush and a little highlight, and I'm out the door. And you guys never see me with lipstick, really, because I do this when I first come in. And I don't put lipstick on in the morning um, until after I eat breakfast. So, and sometimes I don't even put it on at all. can be bothered. But I do like liquid lipsticks um, that dry matte. Those I love um, because um, you don't have to really apply them or make more worry about them being on your teeth. Anyway, I'm rambling, and I just remembered that I forgot to bring the sunscreen lotion to show you but I will put the link below um, to let you guys know which one I bought um, and it worked wonders for me so try it out if you have sensitive skin or some sort of weird allergy to the Sun try this out it worked for me after years of trying to find something um, and it was like I don't know five bucks at Ulta who knew um, and I actually use the care uh, the brand um, Alba, I actually use the brand um, for my facial care, like um, face wash. They have this nice pineapple enzyme. It smells so good. Face wash, and then this jasmine lotion, and then the pineapple, um, the um, pineapple, what do you call it, toner. So I actually like the brand, so I'm glad I found it. Anyway, to the outfit. Oh, I just noticed I forgot my necklace. Oh, all over the place. My little dude is sick. Um, he has, um, I don't know, he just came out of nowhere. It's a stuffy nose. He could So, horrible when the little ones can't breathe. But, um, put on his humidifier last night, and that seemed to help him a lot. Of course, he woke up in the middle of the night wanting to play with my phone. So, that was special. So, I forgot my necklace, and I was just running around, um, running ragged this morning. Anyway, um... Celine sunglasses. I'm still in the blue stage today. <laughs> Celine blue sunglasses. Um, same earrings. I haven't changed them out. And like I said, I really love my dagger earrings. I think this ear is going to stay this way for a while. But same um, half moon earrings. Same uh, coach bag. And I have this Zara dress, dress I bought uh, two weeks ago. It was forty nine dollars. It's like a cham chambray dress. It's off the shoulder. And let me just tell you, these off the I, I never had anything off the shoulder, and this is not a regular bra. This is like a pretty kind of thing that you wear under things, <laughs> and it's supposed to be shown. But anyway, um, because I couldn't be bothered with the strapless thing, and I'm gonna wear the cardigan anyway because I'm at work. Um, I never really owned anything. Um off the shoulder and I have to say it is the most annoying feeling in the world it's so restrictive but I liked I, I figured let me try the trend this is what I get for trying trends um my hair this is what happens when I don't pin curl my hair and just come to work because look at that like what is this what is this it was so nice and I had a nice body this morning and now it looks like I may actually pin curl it at my desk and be like, don't come in <laughs> until I take them out. But whatever. Anyway, it has pockets. It's a cute dress. It's nice and soft. Um, but it's just very annoying to me. I, I don't like having you fix stuff. So, you know, I wear it like this sometimes, too. You can kind of wear it like this. I think I look kind of school mom-ish. So, you know, it's cute. It was 49 bucks. I brought it to wear on... Uh, one of my vacation days in Maine, but never got to wear it because all I was wearing was bathing suits and shorts. So, um, but it's nice for what it is. Um, so I'll just wear it as a one shoulder. Um, I mean, it, if I go out like to dinner or something, and maybe I'll do it without the straps. Um, but anyway. That's this dress that I'm wearing, and then I'm wearing a pair of Vera Wang shoes that I've had for about four years. And this is the first time I'm wearing them. I just wasn't inspired to wear them. I love them, but yeah. They have these cute little um, sparkly beach colored um, sandals from Vera Wang. I bought them from Piper Lime. Anyone remember Piper Lime when they were in business? Yeah. So. And that's it for today, guys. Everything's going to bother me today. This dress is going to bother me. My 
hair is going to bother me. This is why I wear it back. I don't have to be bothered. <laughs> so this is it for me this week. Um, I have got to go run to the Gucci store today because I'm going to buy me. Me and my sister are going to buy my nephew. He turned 16. And apparently he's all into fashion now that he's got himself a little job. And because Auntie Amy is, I'm like, oh, don't get me in trouble with your brother. Which is, I mean, your father, which is my brother. So he thinks he's cute enough to wear uh, <laughs> some Gucci slides. And he, I mean, he is cute. But um, these little 16 year olds, when I was 16, what did I get? Well, I did get a coach bag, <laughs> but I never dreamed about getting anything Gucci. Although my sister got a Gucci bag at 16, my older sister. Huh. I talked to my mother about that. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to run. Um, I'll see if I feel like doing any little clips or whatever and see what's there. I know there's some Gucci bags that are to die for. <gasps> They're the fall bags. They are very Chanel flap-esque. So gorgeous without the Chanel price. But Amy is going to be good. So... If I don't add in some clips, I will see you guys next week. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye.